Let's talk 366835. From the artist Fujimaru, the English name for this dojin is You've Laid in Your Bed, Now Make It. The tags for this dojin seem interesting, so let's just jump right into it. The dojin starts by showing a man walking into a store. Inside the store is our female protagonist, Ishikawa. The man walking into the store is our male protagonist, Hoshino. Ishikawa is kind of surprised to see Hoshino because he looks like a husk, but the two were in high school together and haven't seen each other since graduation. Ishikawa asks what brings him here, and he's just looking for a new pillow. Ishikawa has not really been getting any sleep, so he looks pale. Ishikawa asks what happened and if his job in Tokyo is rough. The two-hour trip there and back is rough, but he's not making enough to rent a place in the city, and his boss wants him to work unpaid overtime. But he finally got time off, and he wanted to see how Ishikawa is doing, so he should just buy a pillow. Ishikawa suggests for him to go to the doctors, but he's already been. His lack of sleep is stress-related and should be fixed with a new pillow, so Ishikawa starts to help him pick out a pillow. Hoshino complains about how the shop is hot, and Ishikawa says to just deal with it for now. But Hoshino, who still looks like a husk, is complimenting Ishikawa on how she looks. She gets caught off guard and really flustered as well. We get a flashback of the two in school. We see Hoshino aspiring to learn a job in Tokyo, and Ishikawa sitting alone having an inner monologue. But apparently, she has a crush on Hoshino. She never confessed because she presumed he would find work somewhere in town and that their lives would stay the same. But her seeing him come back beaten up, she thinks things must not be going well. So Ishikawa gives Hoshino a lap pillow for now, and we see this somewhat artistic masterpiece of a shot. Hoshino collapsed out of nowhere, so she carried him and nursed him until he woke up because her legs are falling asleep. But Hoshino doesn't want to get up because he can't find a pillow this good. This gets Ishikawa flustered, so to change the topic, she asks if he found what he was looking for in Tokyo. He has it, and he's basically given up, but he still has his ambitions. To which Ishikawa replies by saying he's too reckless, and he's hoping he would find something here. But he doesn't know, because it feels suffocating to be in a small town. If being there doesn't spark his ambitions, how is he supposed to find what he wants to do? But Ishikawa has at least one thing in mind that he can do, and maybe this will help him change his mind. And so they do the do, but Ishikawa says she doesn't mind if he gets addicted to her, which triggers a flashback, showing Ishikawa can graduating Hoshino. Also her saying that she'll be there for whenever she's needed. And they finish the do. Then Hoshino falls asleep again this time on her donkers. Ishikawa said a lot of things in the heat of the moment, but she doesn't really know what she's going to do with him. If Hoshino wakes up and forgets, he's not going to hear the end of it. Then we get a flash forward and see a marriage certificate. Ishikawa's family name became Hoshino, and Hoshino found success. He took the mattress shop to the world stage which is kind of really impressive. But both him and Ishikawa have a kid now, and the dojin ends with Ishikawa's inner monologue again, saying there's no stopping him after he set his mind on something. I give this a 10 out of 10. I love it, and I don't know why. The character design was Pog, the story was Pog, how the flashbacks tie into the story was Pog, and the PLOT was Pog. Everything about this was Pog. I suggest you read it for yourself as always. But that's all I got. I'll see you in the next one. Attack on Titan! Tokyo Ghoul! These hentai babes make me drool. Hashane Biku is great. She makes me masturbate. Fairy tale.